Hello, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about an INA 219, which is a bidirectional current and or power monitor with I2C interface. So this small sensor, it is capable to read voltage between 0 and 26 volt, and it is reading or it is capable to read current between minus 3.2 and plus 3.2 amps. That's, that's the maximum, if I remember well. So from pin perspective, we have a few pins what we will use, which is the voltage plus and minus, actually the ground, and the communication SCL and SDA for the i square c interface. And we will measure the current as usual. Uh, you should measure the current that you are joining to the, to the line. As you have seen, I have ordered a sensor which is not been pre-sorted. And let's solder it, the pins to the sensor, and after that we can do some tests with it. As you see, I will use an Arduino Mega uh, for this, this small project. And there is a breadboard and the sensor what we have soldered. Now let's find some wires to connect to the 5 volt. Then we have to connect to the ground. And after that, we have to connect to the communication ports, the SCL and SDA. Make sure that you have connected the SCL to the SCL and SDA to the SDA, and then you are fine to go. Now it comes the tricky part where we have to use some consumator or something which is consumes some current, some power. And for that I have decided to use a lithium ion battery. To have some useful batteries which are almost dried out and I had some spare part laptop batteries I have removed some of the cells from the battery and this is almost dried off there is no current inside and with a small tool we would be able to charge it and also to measure the current flow and about this part I won't really talk about too much because you can figure it out I, I just cut it out and and that's it by the way the tool itself it is a lithium ion battery charger which I have modified a bit you can find in one of my previous videos I will leave the link um, down below and and you would be able to modify yours as well if you order it the big benefit of this tool is that the charger by adding two crocodiles it's capable to charge multiple cells in parallel and also there is a big benefit of that charger is that we can see the voltage amps and the overall power which is consumed to charge that battery and finally let's add some wires by soldering two wires you will see why is that required in the next moment so let's go back to our main case to the INA 209. To take the measurement, a gap is made in the circuit and the emitter is connected into the gap so that the charged particles moving around in the circuit must pass through the meter, which is an INA 209 
in our case. Also, what I did additionally, I have connected the minus of the battery to the ground of the RG no on the bus itself, just to ensure that the both of the grounds, both of the minuses are on the same level. Now, I believe that we are really close to test out our sensor and by doing that we need to upload some code on the Arduino Mega and after that we will see the results what have we achieved so far. Now we have to do a very complicated thing. Search on Google. Google is our friend. First link, Arduino. And we are having an other fruit Arduino library theoretically. If you go to manage libraries, then you can search for other fruit in a 209. There is a library. You need to download it. Once it is downloaded, should take up a couple of seconds. We should find the application in the example. Let's go down. And there it is, get current. It is not just only getting the current. Let's check. It is also getting the power as well and bus voltage run voltage and load. It's pretty simple. It's time to download. And, but first let's see if we have connected the board. The board is not connected yet and also the, the type of uh, the board is wrongly selected. So let's search for Mega COM11 in my case. Maybe in your case it's different and download upload. After uploading you should be able to see some values in case if you have the right baud rate. You have to set up the right baud rate accordingly to the serial monitor. And it seems we are reading the voltage from the battery itself which is very good. Let's see what have we achieved so far. There is a messy cable set. There is a charger. What, where we can verify the voltages. And there is the code which is running. And if we press charging, then we see there is 0 0.10 amps and 0 0.10 25 watts the voltage is growing and let's see the values now on the serial monitor we have very similar values over there we have 112 milliamps there is 280 watts and the voltage is 2.5 there is a small difference what I don't know where it is coming from but please if you know uh, let me know in the comments below because it would be very very helpful in overall the application looks to be working fine and I'm really proud what we have achieved so far and as a say goodbye don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel the comment box is open down below and we'll see you in the next video.